As a front-end developer, there are some things you should actually avoid doing and inlining CSS is one of them. Let me show you an example. If you take a look into my code, you'll see that we have a DV and we have inline styling. One of the main reasons why inline styling is actually bad is uh, readability. For example, if I decide to add more CSS to this particular div element, it will just keep growing and then it makes it unreadable. And another thing why we should not add inline styling to our div element is because it doesn't support pseudo elements. Pseudo element like for example before or after pseudo element we cannot use them when we do inline styling another reason why we shouldn't do inline styling in css is because it doesn't support media queries let's say we have a div of element that is really really big and we want to give it a different style when we show it on a mobile device a different style when we show it on a tablet and a different style when we show it on a laptop it will be impossible for us to do it here because we are inline styling but what should we do instead in this case because we actually have a basic css so i'm going to be using a class called alert to do the styling instead of using an inline styling like this and in this case we are going to get exactly the same result while we can actually like make our css more readable if we want to do pseudo element like for example we can now use pseudo element like before in our css class and we can even do media queries in our css class so as a front-end engineer you should always avoid inline styling when working with any html element and always resolve to like using a class or use tailwind for example or if you are working with react for example you can use style component well i hope you've learned something new today and see you on the next one